<laughs> and now for something completely different. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. <sighs> I can't wait. The tension is killing me. We must watch this show. We must finish the season. We must see what happens to everybody. Are you talking to me like you're a weirdo? <laughs> because I am a weirdo. <laughs> I'm a freak. Seriously? I'm a weirdo. What the hell are you doing here? What the hell am I doing here? I don't what the hell am I doing here? here. You had a rape of her. Oh no, oh no. She's running out the door. How's that? Pretty good, eh? <laughs> okay. I played that once at the live, okay. and everybody says, please don't ever play that again. Right. Here we go. Okay. Anyways, yes. Okay, so. Part duh. They didn't kill the guy, but he looks like a mafia dude. Yeah, something's going to happen that's going to lead into Max and Patty Road to Nowhere. And we'll find out what happens to the Phoenix, I guess, since it's the last episode. Which is now a Chinese food restaurant. <laughs> I'm sorry, love, no, we're fully booked, love. We've got nothing Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. We're fully booked. Not Sunday, love. No, oh, no, Sunday's a day rest, love. Ryan! Hey! Look at this, Jerry. I know if it's. We're raking it in. Just had the brewery on the phone. Have you? What did they want? Wanted to congratulate us on our success. Did, didn't I? They did. Said they wouldn't mind coming out. Might have a proposition for us. I said, I said, didn't I say they'd come crawling back? About time, too. You said we didn't need the brewery. Ah, well, that were then. This is now never a success. <laughs> With the brewery's money behind us, who knows? We, we, we could open the chain. Two words, Jerry, investment. We'll get them down. Give them a good night. The night they'll never forget. We'll wheel up the big guns, Jerry. What do you got in mind? A big birthday bash. Why, whose birthday is it? It'll be ours if we get that brewery money. <laughs> Have you seen this? Have you seen it? Punters today want something more, and that's what we're giving them. The future's bright. The future's Phoenix. Ah, Den Terry. Uh, Phoenix. Prick. He's ruining us all with this Chinese restaurant crap. Nobody in last night. Empty again tonight. Have you seen this? I've just caught that tiger at Potters. Put it up outside. He said the brewery's is coming down. Did he? Well, they'll be the only ones there when I've finished. Oh, no. Uh, Dougie A's, please. What? Uh, hello, Dougie. It's uh, Jerry Sinclair here from Phoenix Club. Listen, Dougie, the uh, Stars in the Rise night on the 21st, I'm going to have to pull it. We've hardly sold a ticket. Yeah, then Perry's got a big night on down Banana Grove, and we can't... Co yeah, he's a fat bastard, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I understand that, Dougie, but we'll pay for any inconvenience. Oh, yeah. And you. Thanks, old son. Ciao. Oh, you sweet boy. Hey. Ooh, looks like I'm going to need some more cigars, boys. <laughs> oh, no. It's the Den Petty Jetty Showdown. <laughs> Who would the brewery send him? Mike Brennan or somebody. Never heard of him. Oh, but I don't care, Jerry. We should give him five star treatment tonight. Pull out all the stops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> What's that? It's your disabled parking space. I know oh what it God. is. What's that in his hand? It's your bars. It's you. Get it off. Get it off now. <laughs> Do you hear me? I roll over your fingers. <laughs> 
Oi, Petrocelli, are you shifting that thing or what? I've got a full house tonight. Hey, you're taking up three parking spaces with that frigger. I'm moving it. You've been saying that for three weeks. I'm going to start charging a council tax. Miserable bastard. <laughs> move, move, move. Funny that it's themselves, yeah. Walks you know? like Ricky from Trailer Park Boys. I got your name custard. What's up with you? He's back. Who's back? The husband, the one we gave the money to to disappear, he's back. Oh, that's the guy. The, husband, oh. the one we're supposed to shoot, but didn't, he's back. But he were. He's supposed to be abroad. He just got in the bookies. Uh oh. Yeah, he's a mob dude. Oh shit. Oh. Are you alright, right, right, Hey, come here. Oh. What are you doing, oh. What did we tell you? Evening, ladies. What did they do? Nice oh, legs. Sound of the open. Oh, yes. Come on, though. Jesus, man, snap out of it. What's up with you? The thing's on my mind. Oh, he's gone. We put the frighteners on him. He won't be coming back. Forget it. Mm -mm. Oi! Oh, uh -oh. shit, it's his wife. <laughs> Leave this to me. You don't say a word. If it isn't the it man and her. All right, Fanny. I'll give you Fanny. He's alive. Back from the bloody dead. <laughs> Who? You bloody one knowing my husband. Well, well, he was dead when we left him. Was he now? Was he now? Well, he's just kicked my back door down and asked what's for his tea. I can explain. I don't want anything explained. I want my £8,000 back. £8,000? <laughs> you give me a grand. <laughs> Looks like he's ripped both of us off then, love. Where's it gone? Hey, I'll tell you where it's gone, Flower. Luxurious mortar home. Well, you better get it sold and quick, because I want it back. All of it! Well, Luxurious hang on. The deal's a deal, love. A grand? No, you hang on. Now, listen to me. I came to you for help. You lied to me, but you took me money. Well, I've been to see some people tonight, yeah? Some real villains. Not ten a penny jokers like you two. And guess what? This time, I'm going to get the job done much cheaper. I've told you. Killing him's not the answer, love. Who said anything about killing him? Oh. Oh. Hey, oi! The life of a monster. Hey, grand. <laughs> And uh, is, is this the wife? No. Oh, I see. I see. Cats away and all that. No, this is my fiance, Dawn. Is it? Dawn? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, Dawn. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Brian Potter. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Do you um, like what we've done with the place? Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Mark, tell me about the fire. Oh, yeah. Talk about a kick in the balls. Oh, you wouldn't know. Well, you wouldn't, would you? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they laughed at me, you know, when I said I wanted to rebuild this place. But if you look through history, they've always laughed at life's pioneers. You know, so Walter Raleigh, I bet they pissed the sides when he brought tobacco over. Look at him now. He's made a fortune on uh, fags and, and bikes. Eight <laughs> grand. Oh, we're going to give you some more, you know. Yeah, when? When I got sorted in time, I was going to give you some. I just... Eight grand. You know, that's that like... Twenty. Oh, it's bootylicious. Bootylicious, love. Leeches. Fly cheese. It's a pudding. I know what it is, mouth. What's okay. it? Hey, you don't think she's got, you know, got somebody to kill us, do you? Why not? She hired us for killed somebody, didn't she? Eight grand, though. So, stars in their eyes. What have you got lined up for us, then? Oh, you lot are in for a treat tonight. These kids, they look and sound like the real thing is uncanny. I'll tell you something, I was sat in the bloody office this afternoon and I heard them practising and I shouted, turn that radio down. <laughs> eh? That's how good they are, you can't tell the difference. Ryan. Eh? Oh, this is Jerry St. Clair. 
Licensee and uh, my left foot. This is Mark Brennan, Smithles Brewery. Please and Dawn is uh, a bit on word, Brian. What? A word. I'm just smoozing now, Jay, no, if you don't mind. Oh, oh, hang on! No. I'm sorry about this. It's just, you know, he's needed with uh, show business and, you know, that sort of stuff. I'm on there with the brewery. I'm in there. Drag me. What's happened? What's happened? Listen, the axe was stars in their eyes. They're not coming. The what? They're not coming. What do you mean they're not coming? Oh, well, you know who they were coming? Well, no, they're not. Don't start getting sarcastic, Jerry. Have you phoned Doug Yeas? Yeah. He said I phoned up and cancelled the whole show. Well, what did you do that for? Well, I didn't, did I? I've not spoken to Doug Yeas for weeks. Somebody must have phoned up pretending to be me. Well, who do that? I tell you, do that. Den Perry. Den Perry, That's who do that. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do now? Den Perry. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry there's any power on the axe. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jerry St. Clair, your host and comper in licensee of the Phoenix Club, welcoming you to our Stars in Your Eyes night. Apologies All right. for the late start. We've had Nothing all right, Brian. But we're ready now. But yeah, we're well, ready to blast off. Let's we'll start it. Oh, you know the drill. The longer you wait, the more they'll stop. So let's get the show on the road <laughs> with our first act tonight. <laughs> singing live, it's Lulu! Answer machine. Do you leave a message? Did I ball? Saying what? Please don't kill us. <coughs> I'm thinking, you know, maybe we can reason with them. You know, whoever's gonna do it. I doubt it. Once they've been given a target, they won't deviate. This type of beast only speaks one language, Patrick. Violence. And tonight, singing live, it's... It's Adam and the Ants! Bacon tray. <laughs> Bulletproof. <laughs> Don't stick. Don't stick. <laughs> I'm Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. All you other Slim Shadies, you just imitate so walk the police. Please, please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. Said I'm Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. All you other Slim Shadies, you just imitate so walk the real Slim Shady. Please stand up, please stand up, please stand up. Said I'm Slim Shady, I'm the real Slim Shady. <laughs> 
they don't understand. They just keep standing up. Well, careful, Wild. <laughs> Whoa, what are you doing? He's afraid of being killed. I've been poisoned, man. <laughs> Tonight, singing live, it's. It's Meatloaf! I'm telling you, Paddy, you better have eyes in the back of your head. So bright, dealers of thunder in the sky and a killer on the bloodshot streets. The Sunday liar. Down in the town where the deadly arise, and I swear I saw a young boy down in the gutter. He was starting to fall in the heat. What about Finchie? We give him a Burnley wallet. <laughs> Strapped into the back of a jag and drove him around the estate. His bell buckle got caught in a grid. He only found his top half. His coffin were year big. Oh, shut up, Patsy. Whatever they do, I hope it's quick. Like a bottle of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes. Like a bottle of hell, I'll be gone when the morning comes, comes, comes. Hey, what about Tommy Dick Fingers? They found him in a wheelie bin, two snooker balls for eyes. Leave it. Leave it. <laughs> Said I'm losing I'm everything. Like oh, George Michael. <laughs> They're actually enjoying it, though. Yeah, they are. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Elton John. No. I can't <laughs> It's not fair, Paddy. <laughs> if only I'd have met the right woman. If only you'd have met a woman. <laughs> you know, I always wanted children. Little Maxes and Maxines running around. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Your daddy's here. Come here. Down, man. Come here. Come here. Calm down. You're losing it. <laughs> Max. Max, the ringer. <coughs> oh, this is it, Patsy. This is it. Oh, oh, give me hug, you big sod. <coughs> Shit house. <laughs> Looking forward to that. Just got to see Brian Potter talking to himself. <laughs> Enjoy it, 
while you can. That's fucking funny. Harry, oh what do you want? Of some unfinished business, Brian. You. Save your breath. I can't hear you. They're all watching the show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, look, we've got a show after the little stunt you pulled today. Hey, can't send the axe. Oh, very original, Perry. Not in the same league, though. Not in the same league as burning us down. Brian, Brian, Brian. What am I going to do with you, eh? Nothing. Nothing. You're too late, Perry. We're back. The Phoenix is risen. Yeah? The cure and the bloody blocks are getting here. We're back to the rafters. Yeah? Not like your club. Leave it's going to end the ship, Pam. Oh, you deserve your fat pig. Whoa, whoa, get back, get back. I'll let butt you in the grind. <laughs> Good. You're forgetting something, Brian. We've been here before. You remember? Last year, talent check, everything hunky dory, and then. Be awful if that was to happen again. No. no you're, <clears throat> you're making a big mistake, Denzel. Ban him from coming in. The only mistake. I made was setting fire to this place while you went inside. Oh. Hey? <laughs> Come on, boys. Wouldn't bother with a coat tonight, Brian. I think it'd be warm enough. <laughs> you had something on the mic or something? Yeah. Oh, two, one, two. Did you get oh. all that, Jerry? Yeah. Every word. Oh, God. Hey, come on. Fucking yes. That's awesome. All right, <laughs> Perry. Have you got one of these radio mics at your club? Hey, I'll tell you something. They, they pick up everything. <laughs> they cost a few bob, like, you know, but uh, I think this one's just paid for itself. Hey, Mike. <laughs> you don't think we would do it. Oh. Hey, oh we're all yeah. mates. Me Potter, having a laugh, eh? Having a laugh? I don't think so. <laughs> I fucking love this. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And you. You finally got Din Perry back. Fuck you. I didn't think that was ever gonna happen. Duff Buster, what are you trying to do? What are you doing? I'm in a pissing heart attack, what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm lying low. I'm going out of here till oh the heat's off me. Well, hang on, I'm coming with you. What? Eight grand, remember? Half of this belongs to me. That's right. Yeah, well. So we managed to fool the brewery then? Do we balls? They knew what we're up to straight away. They knew it were us, but they loved it. Mark Brennan, he wanted Britney's phone number. Why? Did you want to book me? <laughs> well, sounded like book. Close your legs, little slut. <laughs> did he say how much they were going to give us? <laughs> he didn't, Jerry. No, he didn't specify. He said he was going to come down tomorrow to discuss a deal. Well, at least Dem Perry's not going to get anything. Yeah. Oh, to that. Did you see him? He was crying when they put him in the back of that police van. <laughs> Sobbing his eyes out. Good. I'm glad. You know what this means, Brian? You can get your license back now, you're in the clear. <laughs> Bloody hell, I am, aren't I? I love it. I'm in the clear. Awesome. See? God loves you, Brian. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I want my license back. I think Jerry's done us proud. I think we should leave things the way they are. A toast to Jerry St. Clair, Phoenix Licensee. Toast to Jerry, Jerry St. Clair, Phoenix, Phoenix Licensee. Licensee. Thanks, everybody. I'd just like to say... Sit down, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he likes it. Yeah. Here goes. Oh. Get back, you bastard! I'll break your leg! <laughs> oh, man. Oh. That was from his old car. Come on, right? lads. Yeah. Whatever drink we're celebrating. Oi, Mandy Dingle! Tell Potter we're off. Off where? Who knows? We don't know, but we'll know when we get there. How? How will you know? We just will. All right. Yeah. But how will you know if you don't know where you're going? Just drive over. I'm gonna move. The road to nowhere. There we go. All right. Nowhere. Okay. Okay. And that's where it goes. There we go.
That was really good. That was a good ending. Evening, ladies. Nice legs. What time do they open? <laughs> the one guy looks like Xi Jinping, the president of China there. Oh, does he? Doesn't he go on the left? I don't know either. You know, maybe. I don't know. You don't oh. follow communism like I do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow. You don't want to hear it. We I understand it. communism. <laughs> I come from a former communist country, and I come. No, he doesn't. I come here to Canada don't, to don't listen to, him. to learn listen. freedom, to learn understand okay, freedom. Yes. And I watched Phoenix Nights, and it was all. Awesome. Comes from Kazakhstan, and his sister is the best prostitute because he knows it, and his daddy knows it. That's Borat. What did I say? Played your played your stand. I did say Borat. I know. Did you? Oh, I didn't think you said it. You said I came from Kazakhstan. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you just re-listen to the tape again, okay? Holy Christ. Anyhow, that was great. I could be wrong. I don't know. Good show. <laughs> we did it. That was that awesome. That was fucking awesome. Okay. So that now was we... a really funny series. So we it. essentially have to do Max and Patty's Road to Nowhere after this. And I got that gratification at the end of seeing fucking what's his face. Den Patty. Get caught. You know, I, I didn't like, think he was. I thought I thought Brian was going to screw everything up again, but at least it ended nice. No, it ended, yeah. it ended very well. And they all they all work together to save the club, right? Mm -hmm. They all work together. And now that leads into Max and Patty. You know? And he knew probably Den Perry was going to show up and gloat, right? That's why he had the mic ready? Or? No, I think he had the mic with him because he was singing and shit. Oh, okay. And talking. I whatever. thought maybe he knew that Den Perry would show up and... I don't know. And, and they sort of planned it. I actually at one point thought that it was a vibrator from one of the, <laughs> the sex show things. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, that's what it is. Like, uh, <laughs> Brad would have a good time at one of those shows, I'm sure. <laughs> I would be the dancer. There used to be, you know, funny... <laughs> funny sex things for like people who got married. I could do my full Monty dance. I don't know if they still do that. Hey, I could do my full Monty dance. Looking for some hot stuff, baby. Oh, yeah. I've seen that, yes. Gotta have some hot stuff, baby, tonight. All right. Great show, everybody. Great show. Sorry to gross you out there. Oh, don't forget. Um, You can also check out shows like Faulty Towers and The IT Crowd. They're on Daily Motion page and our Patreon page. Yes. Just because we can't get them on the YouTube page. Although I'm working on it. <clears throat> I'm negotiating. You not forget I'm, <laughs> I am the negotiator. And I negotiate with YouTube and I say, hey, listen here, YouTube. You know, you can't go wrong with letting some of these shows on and help letting us promote it for you. Because, I'd say it's not YouTube's fault. It's a company that you know, doesn't really want, sometimes they don't want it on their copyright, right? <laughs> but sometimes they let us do, like they oh, let us do this show, God. right? So let us do your show. We'll promote it. It, it helps it okay, get out Brad, there Brad, to a new generation. Anyhow, go to our Patreon page and our Daily Motion page and our YouTube page. We love you. Phoenix Nights. I'm not funny. Bye. <laughs> And now for something completely different.